Hey out there. I'm at the Kingsburg house. I decided to paint the paneling in the one first floor bedroom. First of all, I wanted to get the stink out of this house and I'm thinking some heavy duty primer will definitely help and it is. I'm gonna tell you guys how I do the paneling, how I paint it, what I use and stuff like that and maybe it'll help you guys if you wanna do the same thing. Hey, I wanted to do a uh, quick shout out to GSN Cards. Left a nice comment on one of my videos about something looking good. Always feels good, thank you. Also, my friends, Daryl and Maxine in Arkansas, closed on their other house that they had. What a blessing. I could tell I'm a decent guy because I think I was ex as excited for them as they were. <laughs> So look, here's the first coat. I should have taken it before. Well, there is a before somewhere, but it was gray with black stripes, the panel. So let me show you what I use for this. You got to get a stain blocking primer. I use this. I use the Kills 3 Premium. It costs about 120 bucks for five gallons. It's ready to paint in an hour, and it is really heavy duty. The paneling just sucks up paint. Just to do one coat on this paneling, I probably used maybe two and a half gallons. I don't know if I already said this, but I was gonna put drywall up right over the paneling or take the paneling down and put drywall up. I opted for this because I'm gonna probably wind up holding this house anyway as a rental and it's gonna look beautiful in the end. However, the amount of savings, time and money to do it this way is just incredible. If you think about it, if I put the drywall up over this, this means taking down all the trim in here, putting up the drywall over it, spackling it, at least two or three coats, putting new trim up, then priming it and painting it. This way is so much easier, faster, and less expensive. Now, I, I used to sand down paneling first. I used to do a, a rough sanding over it just to get that gloss off. But I found out, I think by mistake, I thought I sanded a wall one time and I didn't. And I put this primer on I was like, there's really no difference. So I go, I go ahead and I clean all the walls good with a broom. I vacuum real good. I go and take all the nails out. I, I fill the holes with some spackle. And then I put the primer on. That primer is heavy duty. You got to put at least two coats on. So I go around and I, I time myself, like I, I see how fast I can go. So I did this, this room in one hour. Now I'm gonna do the ceiling. And then by the time I'm done with the ceiling, all primed, white. Then by the time I'm done with the ceiling, I'll put another coat on the walls. I'll let you know how that, how that turns out. I'm using one of the walls in the living room as like a blackboard. And I'm writing a bunch of stuff on there so I can keep track of everything that needs to get done at the house. So like yesterday, Ray stopped over. He measured the top floor for carpet. So I got to go down and pick out the carpet and I'll get the top done. Also, I need a new water heater. I thought I saved that one, but it's been so bad as far as the calcium buildup and everything else, I got to get a new one. So this is the upstairs. It's got the, uh, the slanted ceilings, but this is where two bedrooms are. I came and put an initial coat of spackle on some of the stuff that needed it. So when I'm done downstairs, my stepson AJ is gonna be coming over, cleaning up this floor, getting all the pad up, all the tack strips, and then we're gonna come ahead, go ahead and we're gonna paint this all one color and off white. And then I'll just do the trim around the windows and the doors and everything, the bright white. I'm really sticking with a, I don't know if it's a minimalist kind of renovation here. It's gonna look beautiful in the end, but I don't wanna say I'm skimping on some stuff, but I'm doing it myself. I got my stepson who's gonna help me with the demo and some other stuff. I got Ray gonna do my floors and I'm gonna keep the cost down. So this way I can pay myself during construction and hopefully hold this house because we're gonna be holding that khaki house. I have to get the CO in before I can rent it, but uh, we're gonna hold that house. I got the appraiser going out on Monday to give me an appraisal. So as soon as the CO's in on that house, I'm renting that baby. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow.